To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon and download our app OneFin to start learning on the go. Hello dear students, hope all of you are doing well. First thing first, if you are writing June 22 paper, please pause this video, go back to your studies, come back on June 30th or on 1st of July. This is more for November 22 and May 23 students and we will see, we will run through the questions and try to figure out you know what kind of questions we are asked. Overall, when I looked at the paper, most of the question, questions are from study material you know, or maybe some past exam papers. Straightforward, few number changes here, few number changes there. You will be able to trace back almost all of the questions back to those sources. Second thing, even if you would have attended our you know, revision sessions that we had conducted on YouTube, almost you know majority of the concepts, the important ones that we spoke about were tested and that has been the pattern. It is you know, quite predictable. Something here, something there might be slightly tricky but otherwise overall, uh, you know really good paper for students at least you know the question on uh, final accounts was uh, straightforward you know you could have scored 20 out of 20 partnership was also very straightforward consignment so they just multiplied the you know uh, amounts given in the study material by four every amount was multiplied by four and as it is they have given it in the paper they said there it was mumbai to agra i think and here it is agra to mumbai something like that they have done but uh, Rest all has been easy. Yes, uh, some of the students found lengthy, but then you know a few uh, few of the students with whom I spoke with, our students they were very confident of scoring maybe about 60 to 70 marks because uh, that is the kind of you know paper uh, this has been. So let us quickly run through the paper and see you know uh, what kind of uh, things have been asked in the exam. So as a standard thing, uh, question number one is compulsory. Answer any four from remaining that uh, we all know. Then first one to win false. Uh, pretty again straightforward. Most of these uh, true and false question, I think in fact all of them, uh, you could trace it back to the back questions given in the study material, means the questions given at the end of the study material. Right. So, first one talks about claim that an enterprise is pursuing through legal process where the outcome is uncertain is a contingent liability. Now, if the enterprise is pursuing, for them it would be more an asset and not a contingent liability, it would be a contingent asset. Nominal accounts of the ledger book are balanced. Nominal accounts are transferred to PNL. So, you know, that is again a straightforward. Specific due date excludes the addition of grace days. You don't need to add grace days if specific due dates are given. Then, spend for replacement of worn out part of machine is capital. It would be more a revenue expenditure. It would be repairs and maintenance. Debenture suspends account. Now, I have this, you know, problem with this question itself. Uh, there is actually in real life, if you see, other than in ICAI material and CBSE, you know, uh, accounts 12th textbook. No, there is no concept of debenture suspense account, okay. They ask us but uh, you know uh, that is a sad part of it. There is uh, you know nothing called debenture, you know the suspense account that you would issue as a collateral and all of that. So anyways, if you go by the question, it is not a liability, it will come on the asset side. And uh, if errors are detected after preparing trial balance, all are through suspense account, need not be, okay. It could be through PNL adjustment also. So simple and uh, straightforward one. Then two short notes, two marks each. So that is uh, again you can now do it. Then. Trial balance, pretty simple. Sitter question, I would say. They have given you know few items and they have said whether it is correct or not. As you read, you can figure out that you know uh, due from customers. So this has to be a debit balance. Then uh, purchase return, this has to be a credit balance. Then uh, trade expenses and trade payable should come this side. Bills payable also should come this side. Cash and bank is fine. Opening inventory, so opening stock will come this side. Rent and trades is fine. And sales return should come this side. You have to just do these things and you have to you know uh, check the accuracy. And why is it you know erroneous right that is what you have to explain like this must have a debit balance that must have a credit balance a brief reasoning for that four marks again a easier question then uh, on depreciation slightly you know more information given but uh, worth because it's given for 10 marks so machinery account of factory showed balance of 95 lakhs on 1 4 2020 so this is your opening balance okay books are closed on 31st march okay depreciation is 10 percent per annum under diminishing balance method okay on September 2020, that is during the year, a new machine was acquired at a cost of 14 lakhs and 44,600 was incurred on the same day for installation. For installation, whatever is the cost that you will add it to the cost of the machine. Okay. Then on September 2020, a machine which had cost of 2187 on 18 was sold for 375. Now here what you need to do, from 1st of April of 2018 on you know this particular amount 2187, you have to calculate the WDV as on 1st of September of 2020 that you have to do that compare that with this amount and if there is a profit or loss you have to accordingly account for it another machine 2185 was purchased on april 19 this is on 19 this is on 18 was scrapped on 1st of september and it realized nothing so sale value is zero whatever is the book value and that will be the loss and you have to prepare the ledger accounts so again simple one uh, nothing complicated out here then the question on inventory again uh, straightforward 
question i would say there is no complication in this as well value of stock opening stock is given purchases is given manufacturing expenses given sales is given at the time of valuing inventory a sum of 240 was written off on a particular item which was originally purchased for 8 lakhs that item was sold during the year for 640 so there are normal items and then there are abnormal items you have to just you know split them into two we have done that in the class as well split them into two then for the abnormal items you will calculate gp separately for the normal items you know one third on cost is given so if cost is 100 selling price will be 33 plus 100 33.33 which is 133 33 right so that is how it has been given using that you can calculate uh, 33 by 133.33 i think that comes to 25% yeah so 25% will be the gp on sales and then you can calculate it okay so again that's a straight forward one so come to the next one bank reconciliation statement i don't think i need to discuss even these items a very very straight forward you know what you need to add what you need to deduct there is a favorable balance so again nothing complicated here right then this one i was talking about uh, no pretty surprising Uh, so in the uh, study material if you see i think it's question number 4 from the you know the back side thing it is from agra to mumbai and i think the amount is 1 lakh in the study material they have just done multiply by 4 everywhere same question is given same ditto ditto question is given nothing complicated you know it's 10 out of 10 here i think all of you would have scored 10 out of 10 marks in this question okay other questions i am not aware but here Uh, you know 10 out of 10 and that is why we were emphasizing a lot during our revision videos on you know uh, consignment accounting okay because most of the times you get a question straight forward if you are clear with the simpler concepts you know you got done and uh, for those of you who have not yet seen the revision video they are still available on youtube you know uh, you can uh, watch them on youtube and uh, get clarity on what we actually did okay then sale or approval basis again uh, straight forward question i think there is nothing much for me here to you know uh, discuss uh, on this then account current as i have been you know uh, telling always uh, you know either you get an average due date or an account current question a five mark question uh, uh, again a simpler one just count the number of days and post it uh, no complication here as well then here uh, might some of you may might find it slightly trickier because they gave 8% and 3% what it basically means is the expected rate of return is 11% 8% is the risk free or the market rate of interest and because we have invested something in the business this 11% becomes our expected rate of return okay then uh, this remuneration per annum from alternative employment so that is an again an opportunity cost anything you earn over and above that will be your goodwill so based on 6 years purchase of super profits so calculate on the basis of average profit of last 4 years so you have been given you know pro profits for 3 years and then there was a loss in this year average out that calculate super profit considering 11% return plus 36000 of opportunity cost and then calculate goodwill based on 6 years of purchase again a uh, setter question then receipts and payment has been given you are required to prepare the income and expenditure and balance sheet again uh, similar questions uh, in the study material will be available what we have discussed right so honorary to secretary is 40000 here uh, they have said that you know you have to increase it by what is it say 20000 okay bonus has to be provided for apart from that you know subscription due uh, amount due for printing so subscription due is there asset amount due is a liability checks unpresented being payment for uh, repair so this you can you know uh, consider it as a part of your balance as per you know because they have given this balance as per passbook and balance as per passbook you can consider the checks presented to arrive at the balance as per cashbook please note you have to do it based on balance as per cashbook and not balance as per passbook right so that information is given for you to arrive at what is the balance as per cash book similar question is dealt in the class so uh, there is nothing i you need to you know uh, explain it to you out here okay then uh, coming to partnership very very easy question again you know uh, this should be a question where out of it nothing complicated so there is a question x y z 1 2 3 is the ratio adjustments like straight forward adjustments you don't need to even bother appreciation by 25% additional capital is given depreciate by 10% revalued at 372 250 doubtful debt at 4% 3 years purchase of average profit profit has been given for last 3 years okay goodwill will not be raised in the books of account so even if they don't say we will not raise it in the books of account balance payable to z was paid immediately prepare revaluation bank partners capital account giving effect of just retirement and also show the valuation of goodwill and pass an entry for adjustment of goodwill 10 marks balance sheet is not asked so what are asked capital account bank account revaluation account and valuation of goodwill this anyways you will do because you have to do a working note entry very very important okay so i hope all of you would have read the question properly and passed this entry definitely a one mark would be you know allotted to this particular entry
then this my same amount. This should be a question where you get 20 out of 20. No question asked because straightforward, simple items, items that you know and look at the adjustments. What is this adjustment like closing stock, provision 5%, depreciation is calculated and given, then accrued commission is given, interest accrued is given, outstanding prepaid interest. So you have been doing this since your 11th standard, right? There is nothing, uh, you know, complicated here. It has to be a 20 out of 20 marks question, manufacturing, trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet. So nothing uh, much I would say. Then coming to this last question, 15 marks question, I have been telling the importance of this question, you know, these kind of questions from this specific chapter, right, uh, our share issue and all of that, especially, you know, if they ask for future also. And similar kind of question we had asked uh, as a part of our mock test paper as well, not exactly the same, but, you know, calculating interest and uh, related stuff. 15 marks question for simple journal entries. Again, you know, this has to be a setting question. So see this 20 out of 20 here, 15 out of 15 here. Okay, you may make some mistakes here and there. Even if you do some mistakes, let's say assume you make 15 here, you get 10 here, 15 plus 10 is, you know, 25 straight away into your pocket. Consignment 10 marks, account current 5 marks. So that passing of 40 is, you know, you should target 60 in such kind of papers, I should say, right? So uh, the question, if you see, 20,000 shares, 10 each at premium of 10, payable 2 on application, 4 on allotment, 2 on first call and balance on final call, all shares subscribe, 2,000 shares paid full remaining amount on first call, so there is calls in advance, final call which was made after 4 months from the first call was fully paid except someone, you know, 200 shares and another having 100 shares, they paid after 3 months and 4 months, along with interest on calls, they paid interest of calls in advance, Mains, maintains calls in areas and calls in advance account, give general entries to record this transaction, that's it, okay, also, interest calculation obviously when you have to you know pass and interest you will have to show the interest calculation you have to apply the you know interest rates of 10 percent and 12 percent and calculate the interest rates right and what is petty cash book and write any two advantages so all in all i would say a very easy paper but a lengthy paper so all in all i'll categorize this paper as easy plus you know maybe some of you, of you might have found it lengthy especially final accounts and all related question because there's a long list of transactions involved but if you had prepared well, revised well, completed study material, past test, past exam papers, uh, institute's mock test papers, our mock test papers, you know, some of you would have watched our revision lectures and all of that, this would not have caused any kind of problem in your, in the examination, right? So I hope all of you have done well. Uh, we'll meet soon again, uh, somewhere around in July to discuss what you have to do, you know, in your upcoming uh, sessions. So all the best for the remaining papers. And uh, if you have any questions, if you have any queries, if you have any doubts, please feel free to, to get in touch with us. Thank you. And yes, uh, if you want the question paper, this is uh, you know available on our app. You can download it from our app. Link is given in the description.